Zoho CRM Review, everything you need to know. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything you need to know about Zoho CRM. So let's get started. Now Zoho CRM is an amazing CRM tool which allows you to convert your leads into customers and build long lasting relationships and have it all in a simple to manage pipeline. Plus, with Zoho, you have so many other tools integrated within, so you can stay within the same ecosystem and manage your CRM as well. They have amazing features, including AI assistance, Salesforce automations, process management, online channels, customization, analytics, sales and performance, journey orchestration, kiosk studio, and much more. So let's get started. For this, you're going to need a Zoho account if you don't have one already. You can sign up with your email address and it's completely free for the first 14 days. I'm going to click on access Zoho CRM to proceed with Zoho CRM. Now, the first 14 days are free so you can try out the CRM tool and explore all of its features. And if you feel like it satisfies all of your needs, you can upgrade to their premium versions. So in Zoho CRM, you're going to see a tab on the top section. So you have different tabs to manage your leads, contacts, accounts, and deals. And on the right section of this, you have access to other Zoho applications. You have your own account management. Then you also have your setup or your settings option. Then you have your marketplace, your calendar, signal, search, and then create menu. Now, when you go into your setup, you have customization, including modules and fields, customizing your home template, as well as building automations. So you can go into modules and fields first off. And when you go into modules and fields, you're actually able to customize the information you're collecting about things such as uh, leads, contacts, accounts. So for example, whenever I am adding a lead, I might want a specific field related to them, which is not added by default. I can click on leads over here and then click on fields and you will see all of the field listings. Now from here, you can see any custom fields and the data types. So you can choose to add those in the premium version. You can also see the layout of how everything is going to be structured. And you guys can see this is standard. You can see that if we click on the module permissions over here, we can click on new section and we can build a new section and add more field information as well. So you do have a lot of customization within Zoho CRM, which makes it perfect for all types of teams, whether you are just someone that is managing or if you're someone that is going to be actively managing customers right in your CRM, you're going to find it super intuitive to use. Now let's get started with the first step of CRM creation or management, which is adding or importing leads. So if you go into leads over here, you're going to see actions on your top right where you have mass delete, mass update, mass emails, approving leads, adding campaigns, exporting. Then for lead creation, you can either click on create lead and manually add a lead. This means you would have to type in all the information into the forms like so. So I would add all the information about my potential lead. Or if you go back, you can also click on this more arrow, click on import leads, and you can import from a CSV file or XLS file, or you can also import this from another CRM. So if you were using another CRM in the past, you can import from that as well, which allows you to have a simple way for bulk adding. Now for this, I'm going to manually show you guys how to create a lead. So you're just going to first click on create lead. You're going to add a lead owner and the first name. Let's say it's going to be Kelly. And then we can add their designation. So let's say it's, it's Miss Kelly. We can add a company that is associated with them. Let's say it's going to be Vivian. And then we can add our title. Let's say it's CEO, their phone number, their mobile number their email, let's say it's kelly at gmail.com. And then we can add the rest of their field information. We can also add their lead source. So let's say we got this via a cold call and let's say they are a makeup or we have network, optical networking, storage equipment. Let's say they are a small slash medium enterprise and they're annual revenue is about $50,000. Okay. 
Then we have their lead status. So we are going to put this in pre-qualified and their number of employees are, let's say, nine. Their rating is... And then I'm just going to add their address information. If you want, you can skip this. Their last name, Miss Kelly Butcher. And then we're going to click on save. And just like that, our lead has been added. Now, this is just how you add a lead. Leads are going to be stored. And whenever you open up a lead, you can get an overview, including a timeline of contacts as well. So you will have all of your contact history in your timeline. Then you can go into your contact section to start adding contacts. Now, contacts and leads are two different things. For some people, they loop them together. When you add a lead, that means they are going to be someone you're doing business with. Whereas a contact is non-finance or non-revenue related. A contact might be your supplier. Your contact might be a business partner or just someone that is related to the business in some way. So leads are where you're getting your revenue from, whereas contacts are people that you're dealing with. You add them in the same way. Next up, you have your accounts. So if you go into accounts, you can click on create account to start adding accounts. For example, this account is going to be called my Jameson account. And then we can add the phone number related, the account site. Let's say it's going to be called Jameson Co building and then i can also add a parent account and account number account type industry as well and this is going to be a distributor and we can add their size which is going to be a service provider their annual revenue is 500k and then we can add their address and, and other information and just like that we have our account added now, when you're creating accounts, keep in mind you can add a lot more details such as their website, the account owner. You guys can see some sample data has been added as well. You will see all of your deals related to that particular account as well as any relevant contact or leads that are related to that account be added over here. Then you can go into your deals section which allows you to add and manage deals. You will see all the basic information listed right over here and you can filter that out by the left as well. You can click on create deal over here to start adding your deal name, which account this is related to. Let's say it's related to the Jameson account. And let's say this is going to be distribution of our makeup. And then I can add the amount. This is at and the closing date for this. Then the stage. So let's say this is going to be in negotiation or review. And you can see all the stages have been added. You can customize these under your settings tab as well. So if you have different stages in your sales pipeline, you have your type. So this is existing business. You can add your source and other information and then just click on save. And this is how easy and simple it is to use the Zoho CRM tool. Then you can also add tasks, have your meetings and calls, and even manage your project within Zoho CRM. You can also get detailed reports by clicking on these three dots and going into the reports tab, as well as view documents, visits, and much more. So if you're looking to get started with Zoho CRM, I definitely do think it is a feature packed tool that can help a lot of small to mid-sized businesses fulfill all of their CRM needs. And if you take a look at pricing, it's priced very decently at starting only at $20 a month and you can save upwards of 34% with their yearly billing. Their $20 plan includes mass emailing, custom modules, workflows, cadences, lookup fields, canvases, and much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.